Hey guys, I'm James Bruce and today I wanted to tell you how to actually fix irrelevant YouTube recommendations on your homepage. Now, we have already done a video on this. We published it last year, I think. Now, I gotta be honest, I wasn't entirely comfortable with that video because I personally have never done that and my YouTube homepage is great. And judging by the comments on the video, it didn't really work for you too. So today I wanted to add my input on that and tell you how I make my homepage actually really great. So look, let me put my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna show you my YouTube homepage, not the corporate account that we have, my actual personal account. I'm gonna show you what's on there and that it's full of videos I actually want to watch and how you can make yours like that too. So having a quick look at my homepage here, second on the list is Sky News Live. And that's because whenever I go to YouTube homepage, Chances are it's because I want to watch Sky News Live. So YouTube has learned, put that at the top, he's probably gonna click on that. And yes, they're right. Then I see a load of videos from channels I am actually subscribed to. And those are things that I would probably want to watch. Now you could say it's a little pointless having those on a homepage since that's accessible from the subscription page. But if you can't watch everything new, then YouTube is gonna pick up on a few of those that it especially thinks you should see and show you those. Now I also see some channels I'm not subscribed to. So most of it is about Lego or Warhammer. There's some terrain building stuff, some self-sufficiency, home farming, that sort of thing. There's a little virtual reality. Going down the page, I can't really find anything that sort of screams, why is that on my homepage? Everything here is something Google knows I have an interest with, I've engaged with, related to something I've watched previously. Now, let me show you something completely different. I wanna show you our corporate account where the history is disabled. So here is a completely stark contrast. And no offense to these creators, but it's mostly irrelevant populist nonsense. And it would be the same thing if I was logged out and browsing anonymously. The only thing is ours is a tech channel, of course, so we get a lot of tech-related videos in our homepage. But the thing is, it doesn't know anything about me here. The history is turned off. It doesn't know what I've watched. So obviously it's gonna base things off what's popular and what my IP address is. So at the moment I'm running on a Romanian VPN, which means my IP address looks like it's in Romania. So scrolling through on this account that knows nothing about me really, I'm probably going to see some based on location, which I mean, I assume these are Romanian videos. I don't actually speak Romanian, so I don't know. But that's probably a safe assumption to make. See, the secret to having a good YouTube homepage with good recommendations on it that you want to interact with is to let YouTube know what you want to see. Shocking, I know. Keep your watch history turned on and make sure that if someone else is going to use your computer, log out of your account so their videos aren't recorded into your history. Like the videos that you enjoy and subscribe to the channels that you want to see more from. Comment on a video if you have something to say by interacting with YouTube, by giving it these little subtle hints about what you enjoy, what you're gonna interact with, what keeps you engaged, you will have a much better homepage. Yes, I know in theory, clicking on the box that says, don't show me any more from this channel, should actually not show you any more from that channel. But if YouTube doesn't know enough about you to begin with, then it's always going to be pulling something from the bottom of the barrel to show you, which you probably have no interest with. So you'll be endlessly clicking, no, I'm not interested in that. No, don't show me that again. Instead, take a more proactive approach. Tell YouTube what it is that you want to see. Now, despite what the comments say on our original Make Your Homepage Better video, YouTube is not trying to push random far left, far right, depending on whoever you are, propaganda to you. It doesn't have some agenda of what it wants you to watch. What YouTube wants you to do is to watch videos and therefore ads. It wants to make money. And the only way it does that is to keep you engaged. It's not that YouTube has degraded into some endless pit of mindless, stupid videos. It's just that it doesn't know what else to show you. If you're not comfortable with Google knowing everything about what you like to watch as videos, 
then I'm afraid you're just gonna have to put up with a homepage that shows you irrelevant nonsense. Now that's your choice to make, and perhaps it's true that we do give up too much of our privacy nowadays. However, know that not giving that information over does have consequences for algorithms that are based around knowing as much about you as possible, and your homepage will forever be rubbish. So there, that's it. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Telling YouTube exactly what you like enables it to show you more of what you like. Until next time.